You guys, Fat Man's back. Sitting down in the shop in my basement. Sump pump just turned off. It's been had a couple of days of some pretty good rain here. Um, having my coffee. Suggestion from one of my viewers to add a little nutmeg to it. By golly, it really helps the flavor of some crappy coffee. But I'm drinking it and I like it. Anyway, on the bench. My Daisy Model 8. Um, brief history since I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, this was one of those guns that was only manufactured for Walmart and it was only manufactured in 86 and 87. This is the information that I know. So I bought this one in 86. Um, bought it specifically to teach my brother how to shoot. My brother's 12 years younger than I am, so he was quite a bit younger at the time. Um, and that's why I bought it. Taught my brother a little bit about shooting, and this gun has been through all five of my kids, teaching them how to shoot as well, along with a niece or nephew along the way. So it's been around the block once or twice. Uh, the problem with it, it's probably seen ten to 12,000 rounds without a doubt. The problem with it is that... Uh, I'm having an extraction problem and it's not extracting the round if I, I think I've done other videos on this as well so I'll make this part brief the extractor is doing a good good enough job of holding well <laughs> hard to do on camera is doing a really good job of holding the round and pulling it but it's not pulling it all the way out. And I had a friend at the range with me. And he grabbed one of the casings, which I had never thought to do for some reason. I do it when I'm doing reloading. I check my cases and my reloads, but uh, I never thought to check it on my 22. And what we found was that the uh, it was kind of getting a belly in it. And that he suggested that maybe we needed to run a finish reamer or I needed to run a finish reamer into the chamber. So, just so happened that there was another friend there who happened to have a finish reamer, which I'll try to get a good, better picture of it. This is a finish reamer, and it's got the flutes on it. And I'm hoping this will show up okay. But, what this is made to do is to go into your chamber. This part will center in the throat this part will do the cutting and this part will stop you unless you if you get overzealous with it it will screw up a chamber in a heartbeat so you really really need to be careful with it but uh it works really well this is finished reamers like this are specific to the caliber of the gun and this is a 22 long rifle finish reamer but what i need to do at this point since I don't have any way to extend out past the breech, I'm going to have to pull, the, pull it apart and take the barrel out. Uh, on this, it's just a single pin that holds the barrel into the receiver. So, if you uh, give me a few minutes, I'll get it apart. I'll show you that pin before I pop it out. And then uh, we'll be ready to rock and uh, I'll chuck it up in my vise and we'll get a better shot of the vise while I'm doing the reaming. So, I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, real quick, before I punch the pin out, I wanted to show you. Uh, on the Model 8, there's two pins. One pin here holds the barrel to the receiver, which, yes, is not probably the best way, but it is kind of a, it's a really snug fit. Well, it used to be anyway. I've had it apart a few times, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my, my two wooden blocks. There is, on this pin on one side, there's a little divot. So I'm going to go from the divot side out, out the other side where it looks like it's kind of peened flat. That's obviously the side that needs to go that way. So we'll punch it out that way and be back in a couple of minutes. All right, guys. I have my uh, barrel off my receiver. I have it chucked up in my vise. Um, I have the reamer is 
chucked up in my drill. This is an 18 volt quarter cable drill. This will rip the crap out of that chamber. I am going to turn the power on this thing down to its lowest so it'll spin. And I want to make sure that it's spinning as straight as I can. Now I, I can control the speed of this drill really, really well. Um, Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to slide it into the chamber, and I'm going to run it really, really slow. It shouldn't take a whole lot uh, because this is a firing gun, but I want to take that little, there's a bulge or something in there, and I need to take that out. So, let's gently, now as I come to those threads, I want to be spinning, and I want to go very slow. Must have just got past the bulge in the in the chamber, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep spinning slow. And you can see, well, maybe you can see. I love the chuck on that drill, by the way. can't see I can't get the focus decent on here but there's some some shavings in there so we did take a little meat out of there not a lot apparently um, grab a flashlight and take a look at the chamber and I can see it just took a little meat out on one side of the chamber just a little bit on the side over here on this side of the chamber and right like it's about maybe an eighth of an inch in so about the time that reamer started hanging up a little bit I hit it now I did oil everything with the light oil so you, <laughs> you don't want to do this dry you want to have some oil on there I just had some light oil I don't like to uh, get too carried away if I was doing a, a finishing a chamber a new chamber I would have used a lot of oil Mostly to flush the, the chips and stuff out. I wasn't too concerned about flushing the chips out, but I did catch them all in the reamer. There isn't anything in the chamber here. They're all caught on the reamer because I used some oil, and that's part of what your oil is for. That and lubrication to make it not tear it up. But anyway, that's really all there is to it. I'm going to get this together and uh, get it to the range and see how it works. So hopefully I'll be back. Uh, hopefully I'll have it all in one video, but we'll see. And just in case, I'm going to say stay safe and God bless. Subscribe if you're interested. we do doing some more of this kind of stuff along the way. Uh, I have some other projects lined up that I think everybody's going to get a kick out of. A couple old revolvers uh, and a couple other 22 projects. Uh, I'll be breaking out my Mosin here pretty soon, and I don't think I've showed that in a video yet. So hopefully you'll all like what you see there. Um, anyway, I'll be back with the range report from the chamber fixing, and we'll see how it goes from there. All right, thanks for watching. Stay safe. God bless.